Why is the $20 billion floating airport of Japan sinking? The engineering marvel, Kansai International Airport of Japan, was opened in 1994. In 2001, the American Society of Civil Engineers awarded it as the Civil Engineering Monument of the Millennium. Japan is known for being prone to natural disasters like typhoons and earthquakes. Thus, people were left bewildered when an artificial island was created for the airport, in the middle of Osaka Bay. It took $20 billion to build the airport which includes two runways, a terminal, land reclamation and facilities. So what is happening to the floating airport? And why is it being called Japan's biggest engineering disaster? The construction of the airport began in 1987. Three mountains were excavated to get 180 million cubic meters of rock and sand for the landfill. Around 10,000 workers and 80 ships were used for three years to complete the 30-meter layer of earth over the sea floor. Almost 48,000 concrete tetrapods were used to build the sea wall around the island. The island was connected to the mainland, Rinku Town, with a 3-kilometer long bridge. The project was initially supposed to cost $8 billion but soon skyrocketed to $20 billion because of all the costly repairs. Ironically, the Ministry of Transportation in Japan had decided to build the airport in Osaka Bay to avoid the high cost of building the airport inland. In 1995, the island remained intact, when Japan was hit by the Kobe earthquake. In 1998, the airport survived a typhoon with a wind speed of 200 km per hour. But it was in 1999 that the 4 km long and 2.5 km wide artificial island sank by 8.2 meters, just five years after its opening. The rate of the sinking was alarming because the engineers had already predicted that the island would sink by 5.2 meters. Up till now, around $12 billion has been spent trying to save the airport from sinking further and avoid flooding. Stopgap solutions are being used to keep the Kansai airport floating on Osaka Bay. They wanted to avoid the added expense of relocating and compensating factories, businesses and residents. They also wanted to avoid the environmentalists protesting against the building of the airport inland. In 2003, even after the alarming rate of sinking of the first island, engineers began to build the second terminal on the runway. The same process was used to build the second island. Engineers made sure to adjust their measurements to avoid sinking the island at the rate of the first island. The Ministry of Transportation wanted to address the issue of increasing tourism and congested airports in Japan. International airports like Narita Airport and Haneda Airport were unable to cater to the tourism industry that was growing exponentially. Thus, the building of the second island was crucial because they wanted to make Kansai International Airport the gateway to Asia. The airport was designed by the famed Italian architect Renzo Piano. The engineers underestimated the speed at which the island would sink. They expected the airport would slowly and steadily sink over 50 years and will finally settle and stabilize. But they were alarmed when the island began sinking far sooner than they had anticipated with their calculation. More than $150 million were spent to raise the sea wall and avoid further sinking. Many temporary measures were taken to slow the sinking process. A series of iron plates were inserted below the hydraulic jacks, and 900 column foundations were then raised in stages. The hydraulic jacks underneath need to be adjusted every two years. All the expenses added up to date to build and repair has made the Kansai International Airport the most expensive civic project in history. Even after such expensive measures, the Kansai Airport will continue to sink, it will have to be abandoned. Climate change is another danger lurking over this already doomed airport. When the island was hit by Typhoon Jebi in 2018, the authorities at the airport had to pause operations after the seawater surges swamped the island. The runways were flooded, and the water had reached the engines of a few planes. We have no idea what the fate of the Kansai International Airport beholds.